cleaning and preparing the surface of a vehicle is one of the most critical parts of a vehicle wrap. The surface beneath needs to be thoroughly cleaned to ensure the adhesive bond is as strong as it can be. Contaminants between the adhesive and the surface of the vehicle will reduce the adhesion level. For all 3M wrapping applications, 3M surface preparation system should be used. This product is a far more efficient cleaner than those which are alcohol based. These are the tools 3M recommend to be used for all vehicle graphic applications. A top tip, make sure you have a fresh sharp blade to ensure clean easy cuts. It's these minor details that will help vehicle wraps not only stand out, but also stand the test of time. The 3M wrapping films in this video feature 3M Control Tack Adhesive. This is a unique patented adhesive technology that allows for ultimate repositionability. Microscopic glass beads keep the adhesive away from the surface whilst positioning the film. Being pressure activated, not pressure sensitive, when the applicator is happy, firm pressure is required to bond the film to the surface, immersing the microscopic beads in the adhesive, ensuring a full bond to the surface beneath. Recesses come in many different forms, from shallow single-step recesses to deep U-shaped recesses. Step recesses and U-shaped recesses are not the only differentiator. The angle and rake of the recess are big factors. The tighter the angle, the less surface area the adhesive has to hold on to. 3M have developed films that are designed to be applied into these areas. 3M Control Tac Graphic Film IJ380 is designed specifically to cope with the most challenging of applications, including the deepest recesses found on vehicles such as Mercedes Sprinter and Vito vans. Andrew is going to demonstrate the application of IJ380. He offers up the film to the panel using the control tap feature to position it just where he wants it. This feature is exceptionally useful when trying to line up large graphic panels with images and text. Andrew applies sufficient squeegee pressure to bond the IJ380 to the surface of the panel, bridging the recess with the film. Using his finger, Andrew defines the edges of the recess as the film gains its tension from sitting to the vehicle's high points. Heat is then applied to the bridged area of the recess to retension the film and remove all wrinkles. In order to soften the film, Andrew uses further heat, allowing the graphic to be conformed into the recess. Firstly, Andrew applies pressure in the form of a gloved finger to the heated middle of the bridged film, running his finger along the middle of the recess in one smooth stroke, being sure not to trap any air in the channel. Always work towards an exit point to allow the air to escape. Heat is constantly applied to the film to ensure it remains conformable and flexible enough to be applied into the channel. If the film is providing some resistance when applying, the vinyl is too cold, so use a bit more heat to relax the film. Andrew is careful not to overheat or run his finger along the channel too fast, otherwise this can crease the film. Top tip, always chase air out towards an opening, otherwise the air has nowhere to escape. The same technique is then used to apply the graphic in the other recessed areas. Once the film has been applied correctly into the recess, the post-heating stage begins. Ensure there is no trapped air in the valley of the recess before beginning the post-heating stage. Heat the film to a minimum temperature of 80 degrees centigrade using an infrared thermometer to make sure that it gets to the desired temperature. Heat the whole channel, making sure the recess is heated to the correct temperature. Post-heating is critical to effectively recast the vinyl to its new shape, but also enabling the adhesive to flow and achieve maximum bond immediately. Post-heating gives the vinyl a new purpose in life to stay in that recess. Top tip, take the heat gun away from the area you are measuring the temperature of, otherwise you will be measuring the air temperature out of the gun rather than the surface area of the film. The small application roller is designed to get right into the valley of the recess and ensure the film is properly adhered into these areas. The next two wrapping films that Andrew is going to demonstrate, in addition to control tack adhesive, also features 3M Comply version 3 adhesive. 
3 and Comply is a patented bubble-free technology. Channels in the adhesive allow any trapped air to escape from beneath the film, creating a high-quality, flawless finished graphic. Air can remain in the channels even though it would appear not to have any bubbles. Work air out to an exit point to ensure that no trapped air remains. Here, Andrew has purposely created a bubble onto a glass panel. He makes the bubbles small and manageable to help disperse them without causing creases. Once dispersed, good firm squeegee pressure to an exit point is required to disperse any trapped air. Andrew is going to demonstrate the specific technique used for applying Control Tac 85CV3. Primarily designed for colour change car wraps, however, if being applied to single step shallow recessed vans, then the following application technique must be used. Firstly, Andrew positions the film exactly where he wants it using the Control Tac adhesive feature. Once he is happy, the graphic is applied using firm squeegee strokes. Notice how the air releases really quickly and efficiently resulting in a bubble-free finish. With this film, you need a more progressive stretch. The film will be applied into the deepest part first. This technique ensures the stress is over the flat part of the application rather than in the recess. Notice a larger area, roughly 100mm in this instance, bridging the recess. This allows the stretch to be over a larger amount of film. The deeper the recess, the more film is needed to be bridged. Andrew uses heat to retention the film and remove any wrinkles from the bridged area. Heat is then directed to the opposing side of the bridged area to which is being applied first. This technique ensures the film is being stretched from the flat application, meaning very little stress is applied to the part of the film going into the valley of the recess. Notice the advantages of Comply version 3. When applying the deepest part first, the rest of the film becomes in contact with the substrate trapping air. The channels in the adhesive allow the air to be removed, eliminating the formation of bubbles. This application method would be difficult with a non-comply product. Again, the same steps need to be applied to the post-heating stage. The difference between this film and IJ80-10 is that the minimum post-heating temperature needs to be at least 100 degrees centigrade as opposed to 80 degrees. This applies to any wrapping film with comply adhesive technology. Post-heating is critical. You're effectively recasting the vinyl to its new shape, but also enabling the adhesive to flow and achieve maximum bond immediately. Use a small roller to ensure the film is properly applied into the valley of the recess. Andrew is going to demonstrate the specific technique used for applying Control Tac IJ180 10 CB3. This digitally printable graphic film is specifically designed for car wraps and single step shallow recessed van applications. The application steps are exactly the same as Control Tac 85 CB3 and must be followed if applying into single step shallow recesses. Here they are again. Firstly, Andrew positions the film exactly where he wants it using the Control Tac adhesive feature. Once he is happy, the graphic is applied using firm squeegee strokes. Notice how the air releases really quickly and efficiently resulting in a bubble-free finish. With this film, you need a more progressive stretch. The film will be applied into the deepest part first. This technique ensures the stress is over the flat part of the application rather than in the recess. Notice a larger area, roughly 100 mm in this instance, bridging the recess. This allows the stretch to be over a larger amount of film. The deeper the recess, the more film is needed to be bridged. Andrew uses heat to retention the film and remove any wrinkles from the bridged area. Heat is then directed to the opposing side of the bridged area to which is being applied first. This technique ensures the film is being stretched from the flat application meaning very little stress is applied to the part of the film going into the valley of the recess. Notice the advantages of Comply version 3. When applying the deepest part first, the rest of the film becomes in contact with the substrate, trapping air. The channels in the adhesive allow the air to be removed, eliminating the formation of bubbles. 
This application method would be difficult with a non-comply product. Again, the same steps need to be applied to the post-heating stage. The difference between this film and IJ380-10 is that the minimum post-heating temperature needs to be at least 100 degrees centigrade as opposed to 80 degrees. This applies to any wrapping film with comply adhesive technology. Post-heating is critical. You're effectively recasting the vinyl to its new shape, but also enabling the adhesive to flow and achieve maximum bond immediately. Use the small roller to ensure the film is properly applied into the valley of the recess.